Who's going to take uh, game number one? They turn back around, but can't do anything with it. And now AUI also needs to be careful. So at the very least, Envy is salving up, and he will stay alive. Another Thunder Strike. Now another Magic Missile. They will have Rolling Boulder available, and Envy's going to get caught yet again underneath this tower. They'll get first blood. It's the Thunder Strike and a couple of auto attacks from Faith. Let's see if that's going to be the case. He's waiting for two, I think. Oh, no, he's going to go really fast. Okay. Right now. Uh, he does have the Orb of Venom slow, but thought this should be fine. Ray's coming out. There's going to be the Fairy nice. Fire. It's not enough. And uh, we'll start putting pressure elsewhere. Um, oh, and Boulder mid. Lots of Boulder smashed up. They have the range up, and that means that they can't go for this kill. LSA is going to connect. Nicely done. Pilot Eye Battery Soul. Can he get there in time? There's going to be the kill. Double raise is not enough for S Triple C. He will be able to back himself away. Highlight Eye will make it out. So nice little rotation. But here comes the Glooms back. Highlight Eye. Maybe it's trouble from S Triple C or S Triple C, excuse me, but he will not be able to get the kill. Look at the Seek Gank. They've already used Black Hole, as you mentioned. Looking for a Malphys. Here comes the Dragon Slave. Now trying to find an LSA. The sprint is there. Good Boulder Smash. That might keep him alive. And Fata looking for the LSA. We'll find it. No. Laguna Blade comes out. He gets blown away. It's the Slinger Crush along with SCCC coming in. And Moogie as well. Magic Missile used AUI 2000 in trouble. No mana left for Moogie. Still trying to find this kill. AUI 2000's pretty much resigned himself to this death as he gives away the double kill to Moogie. So great. Some big abilities coming out for both sides. Comes back. Pilot Eye is going to get caught again. There's going to be the kinetic field. He does have the range drop, but the Magic Missile will come through along with the Boulder Smash. Cogs will come out, but I don't think he's going to survive this. The Crystal Noble will come through, but again, too little too late for AUI 2000 as Pilot Eye gets dropped again by a positioning error and Glimpse just magnifies it so much. I'm really enjoying the way the newbie are playing this out because they know KP, he can't die to the Ember Spirit. This Ember Spirit didn't have a good start, so not really the craziest burst potential. Okay, MSS gonna get swapped. Static Storm, Magic Missile, he's out of it. The Kinetic Field, Boulder Smash, he might get this kill anyways. He's gonna stick up and he will not survive. Tried turning, he may be looking for a Malephus or a Black Hole, can't find it. Remnant coming through, SCC, good usage of that Requiem. Now the huge raise is coming in. Envy man fighting him as well. The Kinetic Field, Envy's gonna drop, and now they've got to get out on MP's side. Newbie have not lost anything yet. Raise is coming through from SCC just for good measure. I'm gonna walk right into Envy here in the meantime. Should have a remnant away if need be. He's actually putting a lot of pressure on Kaka. Remnant will come through. Good boulder smash onto two. Kinetic field. Geomagnetic grip comes in. Another remnant. Kaka trying to get away, but Envy walks in front. He'll at least get that kill. And Biolite dies. Gonna stay alive as well. Meanwhile, mid lane. Fatsa swapped out. Will get the tower, but now the match can be sold along with the raise. They secure that kill. Or hook shot Kog, something like that. But um what do you think about MSS not going for the the um Midas Oh, this could anyway? be a big kill. He's so he close to BKB. He needs to get he needs to get out. Searing chance to come through. The raise is coming in, but it's canceled. He will at least get the clockwork with the death requiem. But again, at least he does finish his BKB as he there's gonna be some TPs in. Fata doing a lot of damage to this tower. Now trying to run. There's the swap back in. Yule Scepter comes through. They need the prospect to fall up. They have the LSA, but now Kaka rolling in. MSS again does have that black hole, but they might need to leave Fata and let him go down. Dragon Slave coming out. Crush now will find MSS. Frostbite coming through. The Static Storm. It looks like they're going to lose two. The Freezing Field not doing anything. Uh, they will have faith with the pipe up. AUI 2000 trying to get away. Southern Crush not in time. Magic Missile as well. He will stay alive. AUI somehow avoiding that third death for NP. Death is now going to lead maybe into this Tier 1 tower down bottom. They still have the Aegis for SEC. The Frostbite will come through. Maybe find more Hookshot coming in from Pilot Eye on the side. Gonna try to fight this. He gets off the BKB in time. LSA not gonna be there. And Moogie turning on MSS. He will fall almost instantly. SEC about to go down to Pile I Die. They at least get the Aegis out of this. But that's it for now. Magic Missile, they've already lost in, of course, MV previously in the last fight. And now they'll lose Pile I Die along with MSS in this other engagement down bottom. Again, and just... they're not done. The funny part was, S Triple C just BKB'd with Aegis at such a low amount of health and how confident he was in being able to win that. He's looking for Owie here. Oh my Oh, he is so dead. Two auto attacks and a Slytherin Crush. The Laguna Blade will come out. SCCC in some trouble. Siri Chase coming through. The Remnant as well. They need this kill. They will find it. But can they get Envy out alive? The answer to that question is no. LSA to fly up as well. And Moogie actually avoids the Yule Scepter. is not timed correctly enough for Vata. Malphus coming out, KP taking a lot of damage, Solar Crest doing some work as well, two auto attacks should do the job. Is he actually going to live? KP getting into the tree line, the Eidolons, is it enough? They need more. He's actually going to stick up and stay alive, goes for the TP, he will make it out. They will find... Co Kills, but at the same time, they don't want to be pulled all over the map. They, they might be able to get highlight die here. 
Nice fuel step by Kaka. LSA will come through. They've got the swap out. The Static Storm coming in as well. And looks like Pilot Eye will have to get dropped. But can they find anything else? The Frostbite will come through. Kristen over to fly up as well. The LSA coming out along with the Yules. The Freezing Field. They want Moogie. Can they find him? Good Boulder Smash to stop this. Another Frostbite is available. Magic Missile. They're trying to turn this around. SCCC. Invisible. Throws up the right beam. Now going to turn and fight. Blows up AUI. MV is low. So too is Fots after the right clicks from SCCC. He'll head up to the Shrine. He might be able to survive this. He has Yules back at three. And the BKB down momentarily. Can they blow up the Shadow Feed? It looks like they don't even want to try to turn and fight. Turning around is going to be MSS. He's got Black Hole. Magic Missile comes out in time. KP finds the Slurring Crush. And again, MSS is denied that Black Hole ultimate. Kind of baiting this. LSA to fly through. He does go up the Shadow Blade. They'll jump the Sentry. Malphus comes in. Laguna Blade. KP needs to run. A couple more auto attacks. Should get the kill. Stick charge is not enough. It's last take from MSS will do the job. This SCC is pops MP. the BKB and they're going to kite this. Can they turn this around? MSS is just keeping home already. They don't want to go for this. No, he's canceled it. They're going to try to fight this now. It looks like with NB down for 10 seconds, can they take this four versus four? Vata, they've got the kinetic field. Here's the BKB. LSA is going to miss, but can they bring Faith down? He didn't even have Static Storm, but it doesn't matter. He's going to get dropped and now looking for more. Moogie's going to get spotted out. There's going to be the old scepter. MV TPing in as well. The LSA comes in, but he gets the force off. Instead, they've got the Searing Chains. They will use them. They want Moogie for the first time in this game, and they will find him. MP on the HUD as well. MV continue with Remnant forward, looking for more. And will SCCC be able to get back inside the base? It looks like yes, the answer to that question. But he goes in, slight of his searing chains. Envy needs to be careful. The rest of his team not quite here yet. Again, it is still an Aegis. Along with that newly minted Mask of Madness for the Shadow Fiend and the Beacon. 5,000 net worth trying to take the first tier 3 of the game. And they might be successful in doing so. Pilot Eye creating space. The Yule to come through. They really want this tower. Black oh, Hole. Baby. It's on to 2. Kaka will fall first. They will get the Aegis. And PR turning it around. And be in trouble. KP will grab that kill. But Fata, the machine gun is coming. And he's doing some serious work. S Triple C throws at the right wind. It's time to leave. MSS Static Storm comes through and catches him. He will fall. LSA will at least hit on to 1. But S Triple C, his BKB now done. But he will continue to chase. The dust is up. He's got the Shadow Blade going. But I think Fata is too fast with the Fiery Soul Stacks and AUI 2000. Smartly heads into the tree line. It's gonna be tough. It looks like they just want to push out mid a bit. They're gonna lose their Shadow Fiend here potentially. Blade, easy trouble. They need the LSA to fly through. They'll find it. The Laguna Blade coming out. The Satanic will not save him that time. Dead for 96 seconds. However, will come through. Moogie will grab the Aegis. Kaka will grab the Cheese. However, Spata is chasing after them. He pops the BKB. The LSA comes out, but there's that Manta style dodge coming in. Forcing himself away. The Sheba's Guard coming out. The hook shots there along with it. the battery salt with the cogs. Slurring Crush to counter initiate the static storm. They will get the Aegis, but now Envy is going to get dropped almost certainly. And so too will Pylai die. They even buy back on S Triple C. MSS pops the BKB, then gets swapped back. A double kill for the Shadow Fiend as he taunts his way down this mid lane. Newbie looking to take game one here, or at least force a few buybacks as they pressure this tier 3 tower. Sitting there to tank the smoke. Like, that's the purpose of him dying, is so that the smoke doesn't kill a more important hero. Speaking of mm. that hero. Envy just saw them move through that freaking ward, and he's going to get ganked by it, as they have the Agadim Scepter Static Storm from Faith. He is dead for 97 seconds. He already used his buyback, I believe, and he also just bought the Octarine Core for good measure anyway, so... Uh, I don't know if that's game, but it sure doesn't feel very good here for NP, I would say. Maybe. They're just kind of in this mode where they want to push lanes really hard. Fata gonna be KB. Oh, he doesn't have bots. He's committed to this. Oh my god, MSS gets blown away by Moogie. This swap out, Kaka will fall, but now Fata in trouble. The bashes are there, the auto attacks going to work. Dead for 35 seconds on Alina because of the Bloodstone. 67 for MSS without buyback. In the meantime, pushing top is going to be the CM, but again, it looks like this, uh, I'm just keeping Fata at bay. He's they doing whatever he can. Him. LSA, Laguna coming out. There's the cheese, the freezing field to follow up as well. It's a lot of damage, but as Triple C going to work, and Fata just getting right clicked down. Another sun to come through. There's going to be the Dragon Slave. A couple more auto attacks, they'll get the kill. Meanwhile, mid lane, they'll fight another pickup there. It's going to be Pilot Eye getting caught by Moogie. So, at least they stop the pressure on the range Drax. They've done a good job. However, S Triple C is coming in, and Envy might be the one to get caught. Lincoln, you also have to come through. The bowler smash will fall up as well. It's the static from to set it all up, and Envy is mega dead, and he just fought that raise. So, no buyback for 95 seconds. He is dead in the dirt. Here, they're having a hard time keeping up. That is true. However, MSS is about to be caught. If he shadow bladed, Slithering Crush, my god. Okay. He two shot him. He has buyback, so. Well, that's happens. good. 
he could get two shot again. And painful death for NP, and they might finally be put out of the misery. KP will miss the Slytherin Crush hook shot on the back end of the fight. They're looking for Kaka. Static Storm to come through, and it's going to miss along with the Kinetic Field. Now the Laguna Blade coming in. Kaka's going to yield some stuff up in the air. Well, that I somehow still alive. MSS finds the Black Hole, but it's on to Moogie, and there is absolutely no follow-up damage, and MSS gets chewed down yet again. And that should be it, I would imagine, although NV is back up in six seconds. Still looking for more. They're going to try to find Fata this time around, but getting crushed by KP, both literally and figuratively. He will buy back into the game. And uh, we're getting to that point here, Draskal. It looks like this should be the end, but Envy does come back in. Moogie will get caught with slide of his series chains. LSA will come through as well, but the Yule Scepter is going to be up on Pata. Shiva's going to come through. Magic Missile to head up as well. KP will find the Slytherin Crush, and uh, can they bring him down the freezing field? Silence comes out immediately, and it's just going to be full Megas, and Envy trying to man fight. He will remnant himself back into the well. Pata and Envy doing all that they can, but again, Doobie will take the Megas. Slytherin Crush to come through. They will Laguna down Faith, but already blown away is Fata for the second time, and Envy might be dead yet again. So GG is called. Newbie will take game number one of this best of five series. Outstanding performance from them, and NP, they did their damnedest to keep this game even in Draskal, but it just wasn't enough. Yeah, Newbie are just super, super good Dota players. No, I... Trying to Envy down bottom. One Tango already used, AUI 2000 getting hit up. He does have the Drunken Brawler, so that is something to keep in mind. Still in a lot of trouble. They've already used the Slytherin Crush in. Uh, they've got another Rolling Boulder as well. And it should be First Blood going the way of Newbie. It's Kaka, and already... Say that, since he was part of the stack killing, he's level 5. Which, yeah. for a support who's pretty much spent the majority of his early game just walking between top and mid, not too bad. Yeah, I would say so. Moogie getting jumped on. Soon chance to come through the IO Tether. There's the duel. They want this victory, and they are going to find it. It is going to be Fata picking up the first big kill of the game. Sven will be dropped. Dual victory. Now, this sounds to come through. AUI, again, does not have that. Um, at least his Bruce split, but he still might be able to make it out of here. Okay, see you later. Here we go. Now turning around, Fata, who gets stunned immediately. The LSA from SEC, beautifully done. Actually pushes him back. Almost finding Kaka there, but again, would love to find either of these heroes. Preferably oh, MSS, and they will. The Glimpse Kinetic Field to follow up as well, and SEC coming in. Stormhammer, LSA to follow up as well. They're going to not stack their stuns and just be able to find this kill beautifully. In the meantime, KP denies the bottom tower and will TP towards mid. Smoke coming out, though, coming in from NP. Fata and AUI 2000 also walking together hand in hand. Looking for a potential jump. AUI now have now has his primal split for a uh, screw match. They're going to jump in as Triple C in some trouble. The Searing Chains to follow through. The IO Tether as Triple C stays way too long. Gets jumped on, does not have vision. Aladai and MSS. TP rotations coming in from MP. They will defend this. Bots are looking for him. Jumping again. They actually get off the relocate as well. They drop the huge static storm. Blow away pile I die, but it is going to be for Kaka. The duel comes out, and Faith is able to get away. I don't know what the hell happened there. That was strange. I'm pretty oh, sure... Wait, was it a glimpse? I think it was I a think glimpse it was. because the wisp... I'm... Yeah, the wisp was dead, so it had to have been a glimpse. And he did it, and... The animation of the glimpse takes time, right? So you're not like instantly sent to the other side of the map. So MSS, they're looking for a potential fight here. Mugi overwhelming out to come through. There's the duel. Slytherin Crush coming out. They do get off the relocate gang. Can they save MSS? He's in trouble, but so too is Mugi. Warcry will come out. Faith is here in the meantime. Pile I die trying to run. Another relocate tether ready to go. Mugi still man fighting, and they will get the kill. That's the Brulings down, and Mugi gets dropped, though. It's the overwhelming odds that does the job. And now this is the third crush that magnetized, but there's the press the attack, and he doppelgangers away. MS is still alive, takes Faith on to the back lines. He gets himself a double kill. Now looking for S Triple C. He'll run. Kaka will get dropped. MS is getting the triple, and here comes Fata. It's gonna be four. Lena will drop as well. MS is doing an amazing job this game. Kind of situation because they're relying on specific things to make sure that they're getting kills and, and doppelganger just deals with so much of it all right they're gonna find another duel on faith dear god poor faith boss is looking for more Ooh, kaka rolling boulder blocked the shrine will come through the tp has been canceled and kaka is donezo even with the shrine he will not be able to heal up and envy looking to take over the enemy jungle and all but he's still going to do a tremendous amount of damage as long as he's able to hit stuff. Yeah, I mean, it, and it, it comes down to just one fight. It's like they're going to find AUI. They're going to jump in Laguna Blade. They blow him away with the God Strength. Relocate save is not there in time. A good attempt from Pile I Die. In the meantime, though, Fats will continue to split push down on the tier 2 bottom and then the tier 2 mid for Envy. So they need to get more out of this. The Slurring Crush, can they find Pi? 
He actually gets away in time, but not too far. They're coming through. They're looking for more. Jumping in. They will find that storm hammer. They glimpse him back. So a little bit of a miscommunication, but still. Even though NP have a lead at the moment, it's not as if newbie don't have this crazy scary point in the game that they are oh, quickly reaching, this. and this could be real bad. This ward, they really want to find Envy, but it's going to be instead AUI 2000. My god, he gets shredded quickly. Oh, Kaka almost sees him. He doesn't spot Envy. The kinetic field will, however. Doppelganger to come through. They still see him. He's going to go for the TP. They need the glimpse. Can they find it? The silence is there. They've got the glimpse back. The Dragon Slave is up as well. Glimpse back. Where's the static storm to fall off? They will have it, along with the LSA. Laguna! They throw everything, and boy, do they kill him quickly. 13 seconds. Fata walking up has the Aegis. He would be the perfect target. But again, with Aegis, can they bring him down twice? He also has a Lincoln Sphere as well. Jump in, Saluring Crest will fly through. They'll break that Lincoln Sphere. The Static Storm, the Laguna Blade, they throw a lot out just to get the Aegis. God's Strength has been used. Meanwhile, the Brulings are going to come out, and here comes Moogie. Pops the BKB, AUI 2000, it is time to leave. Remnant coming back in for Fata, doing so much work on the supports. They're about to fall. Meanwhile, Io, he tethers through, he stays alive, and Moogie is getting kited. Pilot Eye is somehow still alive, finally gets dropped down. In the meantime, a good LSA followed up after that. So the Crush to come through. They really want MSS. Here comes Fata. Envy coming, Envy coming in for the back lines as well. Fata's full health. KP misses the Serene Crush. AUI 2000 is out of his broodlings and in back to his regular bear form. Moogie's going to go for the TP. Looks like he will make it away. KP as well. They have no way of stopping this. The Searing Chains miss and of course no other disables. And also are they going to move together as a team? Like I'm curious if they're going to keep fighting for newbie. That's the biggest thing. Looks like they might find Fata. Yeah, I think Dead. so. Yeah. Oh god. He is murdered. The lockdown is real. MSS pressed the attack. They already used the relocate. Now Pilai dies trying to run as well. Tethered down to the low ground. Nice stuff there. Can they find anybody else? Spirit Lance to come through. That's the Ags. MSS coming in the oh, duel. He's no. done so again. The mech's not there in time. Pilai die gets dropped as well. Moogie gets the double kill on a mega kill spree. And now they're going to go for the tier 1 tower on top of it. Newbie taking a giant fight. And they're not done yet. Envy trying to run. He's got Doppelganger in one. They will be able to spot him out. He's in the low ground, rolling boulder through, almost getting up to the high ground is Kaka. Envy's going to be spotted. The Yule Scepter will come through. Can they find the smash? They will. They need the stun. They found the storm hammer. The silence is up as well. And Envy now down on top of it. Four dead. I love the positioning from NP, although Fata may very well get scouted. Highlight Dive will have the relocate save. Good remnant avoids it. The silence is there. Boulder Smash will miss. They will break the linkage, but that's going to be the end of it. Now they're looking for that duel. They will find it, and BKB pops. Static Storm not there in time, at least for MSS. Pretty good stuff so far for NP, but now Fata getting caught. The Saloon Crush relocate save from Highlight Dive. Beautifully done. Fata will stay alive. And again, they're kiting Moogie. They've already lost S Triple C. He's down for 20 seconds, and it looks like that should be the end of the fight. Well, MSS is still going. Maybe they can find Moogie. Overwhelming odds. There's the tether slow. Beautifully done. The storm hammer coming out. Moogie trying to bring any of these heroes down. They cannot do so. And they bring him down for 80 seconds, just like that. MP with a beautiful bait of a fight, and Fata staying alive throughout the entirety of it. That save is beautiful once more. Spirit Lance to fly through, and they're gonna maybe come back in, at least the Io will, but they're probably gonna just leave him. However, the tether's there, the Io, or Io getting stunned up by the uh, Stormhammer, Moogie just crushes him. Glimpse comes out, not even needed. Uh, Fata's still here, Kinetic still to fall through. Another good sled of considering chains coming in. Remnant doesn't actually quite hit Moogie now, getting Glimmer kicked up. Good LSA, but Moogie needs to survive. He cannot go down here. They have the duel. They've got the Brulings. It's going to be a dieback. Dead for 92 seconds, and all of a sudden, after a great fight for Newbie, it is turning disastrous. S Triple C is dead as well for 45 with no buyback. And it looks like all of a sudden, MP, they might at least be able to finish up at. And they've missed the boulder smash. The Stormhammer is going to come in. It's at the shrine now. They want Envy. BKB pop. Can they bring him down? The doppelganger is there in time. They need a little bit more damage on him. Pilot Eye healing him up. Can they get these kills? The kinetic field. Fata's in trouble. And so too is MSS. They'll lose potentially both of them. They will drop down for 83 seconds. A newbie turn it right back around. But they have to TP bottom. Now coming in. They will find Fata on the opposite side. But it looks like... Not trying to find anything. Yule Scepter, that'll be into MSS. He has BKB, won't use it yet. A Roaming Odds coming out, and now Kaka in trouble. They missed that Slytherin Crush, and here comes that BKB. They have the Corrosive Haze up, but they get the kill on SCC. He will buy back. Now the Bash coming in. KP trying to do some serious work, but cannot do enough. Fata, Laguna bladed down. He's dead for 98. He's got buyback. Can they find anything else? Slytherin Crush comes in, but again, the Brulings are running away. It's the Earth Brulings that they're looking for. So forcing out a buyback coming in. That'll be from SCCC. However, maybe they can get AUI 2000 out of this. I would say there's a probability. Moogie coming in. 
He does force himself to the low ground, but Kaka still chasing. They get off the Stormhammer, the LSA to follow up, a couple of auto attacks, and now he is dead for 67 seconds. There are creeps in the base now heading the tier fours, uh, in newbie's base, I should say. But they're gonna try to force out a buyback here from the ground on the Rex. Lift will go. The Illusion's doing some serious work. There are still range creeps in the base. Tier 3 will fall. BKB, MSS, oh, duel. God. It's going to be a dieback on S triple C. Oh, no. Just like that. Newbie might be falling apart. However, Moogie trying to turn in. God Strike, not there for eight seconds. The Static Storm isn't going to be enough. Pilot, does he have relocated? He does. He might need to use it here. Not yet, though. Moogie's still trying to man fight pretty much on his own. It's a two for two trade. So they're in crush to come through now. Fata might be in trouble. The Magnetize to fly up. And Moogie is not strong enough to deal with Envy. He's going to get dropped. And they might lose all five as Kaku will be next. KP trying to run. The BKB, the Shadow Blade, and the Blink Away is enough for him to survive. And he needs to. They have buybacks on both Faith as well as Moogie. But... And finds the Southern Crest as well. Pops the BKB. MSS does as well. He's got the duel available if he wants to. Now Moogie going in. Stormhammer, great doppelganger from Envy. Meanwhile, the Bruling's getting absolutely shredded, though. So Primal Split is done, but so too are the BKBs from S Triple C and Moogie, and they need to be careful now. Good LSA. Can they turn on Envy? The Laguna Blade, the Southern Crush. They need to take him down. The Doppelganger is there. He's running away. They've got to find this kill, and they cannot do so. The Yule Scepter coming out on top of it all. Meanwhile, S Triple C getting caught up by Fata. They get the Aegis. What else can they find? Envy is so tanky. The Overcharge. The Doppelganger away. They're chasing him to the ends of the earth instead of helping out the rest of the team. They might try to find Pilot Eye. He tethers up to the high ground. And now on the other side, Fatsa getting a little bit low on uh, HP, but Moogie, he will bring down Pilot Die. He's low on mana, he's low on health as well. This would be the perfect time to hand over a cheese if they had it. LSA, can they finally find Envy? He'll get dropped down. The static storm MSS was looking, but he cannot find anybody. Now he's going to get storm hammered. Moogie going back in. They want this kill. S triple C, the machine gun is coming out. Can he get it? Yes, he can. Now they'll turn on Fatsa, who is alone. They'll try to bring him down. The silence is there. The LSA, it's a triple kill for S triple C and he's gonna uh... oh man I've been getting some rough lag all game yeah, mine's actually been okay these are Japan servers right they're not uh, they're not perfect for us okay so they're in crush misses very good stun onto KP now the BKB goes but that's the duel and KP is done so we'll buy back immediately but they already got the range Rex and now Static Storm misses yet again, and I don't know if you can do this. Envy's already going to work on the racks. Moogie will jump in. They need Envy. Do they have the relocate? He's going to use it. Can he get him out in time? He sure can. Again, Pile I Die with the save once more. The save god. Looking to jump in is going to be Kaka. He gets off the Magnetize, but it's not nearly enough damage. Stormhammer comes in, but it's on to Fata, and it's the Lincoln Spear that blocks it. Kaka forced by back. Moogie still trying to chase anybody down, but the kiting is real. MSS goes in Viz. They do not have detection. The gem is on the ground. Pilot Eye finally going to get shredded. In the meantime, though, they will lose Moogie for 96 seconds, and this is looking bad. Two down. It might be NP taking this game. They might get Fata here. S Triple C is going to work, but NP is on top of them. S Triple C forced to fight back now. Faith up the high ground are trying to, but, well, the base is dead already. I home did not in, expect home that. in trouble. Home, home in trouble, Mott. But I like it. KP's backing, however, they will have the Ensnare ready. The Shockwave will come first. Now the Ensnare to fly through the arrow. Uh, he actually enchanted the Siege Creep. It does a lot of damage. The Body Blocks, AUI 2000. No way. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, the Enchant of the Siege Creep. Kaka behind enemy lines here. They're going for a dive on the MSS. I believe MSS is in some trouble. Blade Fury, he does have a salve, but uh, press the attack. Is it going to be enough? It's the Frostbite that gets the kill. Blame the Flare to come through. Uh, however, the... He's gonna get off the ultimate from Envy. He's just gonna walk out. However, there's another hero coming in. It is going to be Fata. Scream of Pain to come through. Sonic Wave is available, and KP is gonna skewer him away. But, uh, jumping in is Envy. Shockwave to come through. Sonic Wave not needed. They can even perhaps go for another if they wanted to try to find Kaka. Meanwhile, bottom lane, MSS starting to put a lot of pressure on Moogie here. Get some pressure out on the map. Mm, man. This start doesn't seem very good. Oh, yeah, that's a duel. Sonic Wave. See you later. Duel victory. And they're going to send all their team up here. They, they even have the lane ward again. They found him. The player was beautiful from Kaka, but uh, they need a bit more. The frog cut will come in. The Snova and the Breeze Fire is there, so. They find the kill. But again, more time for Fata and uh, MSS to farm elsewhere. Gonna find, oh, fresh blink dagger. See you later. 
Yeah, I looked away for half a second to get that kill. I don't know, man. It, it feels like it's pretty bad for a newbie, but they are getting at least a kill or two. Matt, they blow away the uh, the Rubik as well, so they get both supports. It's like he might be. He's pretty fast, actually. But the Crystal Nova does hit. He is going to use the Nature's Attendance. Now heroes are coming in spades. Orchid onto Faith. He is dead. Clock will at least deny the tower bottom, but now S Triple C getting chased down. Scream will go. They're looking for an arrow. Perhaps it's the Star Storm. Good Dragon Tail to come through, but S Triple C might be in trouble. More blinking in from Fata. Another shot of strike. They're going to get the duel off. Can they get this kill? He is very tanky. They've got Sonic Wave. They will pop it. They won't get the duel victory, but they will get the kill. HP They're cool. outnumbered. Like, they don't have their DK. Yeah, this is this is just two supports. This is dangerous. They have the arrow available. Actually, Emmy's already shot it. Now, hook shot coming in. The Omni Slash. The Cogs. The turnaround isn't going to be there. AUI 2000 is going to get dropped. And Envy is in so much trouble. Overwhelming odds along with that, of course. Huge freezing feel from Faith. Moogie gets the double kill. Drew was stolen, I believe, from uh, the They're Rubik's losing Moogie. their tier three, by the way, while this happens. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Uh-oh, KP getting orchided up. They're going to find the duel as well. This is a deep dive, but it's going to secure at least a kill, if not more. Moogie does have Aegis. MSS is trying to deal with this. In the meantime, still the damage is going. MSS will TP. Fata will blink the tier three. Hook shot is there. Fata's got blink in three. He needs to get out. He's going to get dropped down. The Omni Slash is there. They get the kill. Kaka is keeping this game even right now, man. Let me tell you. This is, is uh, so annoying. My that God. That comes out, though. MSS already TP'd away. Unless they, like, if it, unless they find this, like, sick hook shot, that would have been huge, but no. That's like. AUI is trying to kill Faith, but the Frostbite Freezing Field is there. He'll try to force himself out. There's a heal coming in. The Omni Slash Mantis Sal comes through, secures the kill. Foxy now turning around. RP, they can grab this kill onto the Queen of Pain, and looks like they will do so. Very good follow-up gang coming out from Newbie's KP. Moving up to the time when AUI gets in, and you're like, the duel, but he gets out. the Blade Fury off. Is this going to be enough? There's no damage getting pumped out, and Moogie's just going to back away. Now that Accusal comes out, and Moogie is on the hunt. One of his best heroes, and he secures yet another kill, jumping in. He's building it, is that he didn't go X. Yep. It seems like uh -oh. that would be... Oh. Fata, Frostbitten. The Orchid does not come out in time. Sonic Wave was about to go. Another big kill. The combining of these abilities from Doobie since about the last five minutes. Ooh, AUI. Skewer, see you later. It's also good. Yeah. The cleave is so sick, too. And they're just going to push high ground to take this tier 3, I think. I mean, no uh, Fata for 28. Jumping in. S triple C needs to be careful. Telekinesis. There's that arrow. Maybe in trouble a little bit too far in. Kaka coming through with the cogs. They have no follow-up. Not yet. Sonic Wave comes in. S triple C pops the BKB. He might turn this. Freezing Field will go. They get the duel off. They want Fata, and they will find him. Meanwhile, MSS is going to get dropped down. Faith is somehow alive. The Omni Slash from Moogie. It's four dead, and they're going to try to find the fifth. Pile I die, getting dove, and they're going to head right for this tier three tower. No buybacks. On so much damage. If, if the Enchantress is dead, who really is able to, to chunk down these super tanky cores like the Jug and, you know, S Triple C on his DK? Oh, and the press the attack. RP on to two, and here comes the cleave. Good duel. They've already lost Pile I Die, though. The Breathe Fire. Now MSS will fall as well. Envy is barely alive, and that is it. GG game number three, taken handedly by Newbie. Oh, that was a nice little set of rhyming there. That was completely unintentional. <laughs> well done, Mott. You know, Moogie from getting whatever out of the bottom lane and making sure that there's not going to be any rotations towards mid. So even though Fata, you know, he hasn't died all day, my die now. Oh, that cast. Oh, the Sonic Wave. See ya. That's Triple C showing his stuff yet again in this mid lane on the Queen of Pain. As and then somehow, again, newbies still have like a 2.4k net worth advantage. It's so this weird. This queen is like all of their net worth advantage. Yeah, it's a significant amount. Envy's going to get chunked down by Moogie. Got to go for the Battle Trance. And Faith has been like owning with these kills. Envy's nearby. Faith, of course, also with an Invis rune. Thought about going with the Cask and Maledict. He's not quite level 6. There it goes. They're trying to find Envy. Now to drop down. The Infest Bomb's going to come out. There's the Battle Trance. The Shadow Word to come through. And Envy is getting destroyed. Fata needs to be careful. He will have that remnant out. Is he going to make it away? They need an Impale or... This guy's starting to get some room to farm. He's actually almost caught up to AUI. Meanwhile, the Impale mid. The Warlock, I believe, is absolutely 100% dead. As Triple C will find a Dominating Spree and continues on his path. 
a rampage, pretty much. Just destroying everybody in this game. Faith now getting chased down by Fata. Just trying to find anything. Faith is like, a newbie, I don't... They're, they're taking a lot of damage here just from, like, Fatal Bonds alone. And this is going to walk up Cogs. They're going to be there. No Cog push. Here's the Battle Trance. Meanwhile, Pilot Eye gets the kill on Kaka. And this is going to be taken down. They're going to try to find more. Faith is going to get caught out. The Revenant through, and he's going to get caught again. Two dead. They get Roche. Huge stuff. In the meantime... Tier 3 tower getting assaulted, but that is, that's something. NP needed something, anything, and they get it. Coming in, they'll find the Queen of Pain. He's in some trouble. Triple Remnant, the Golem dropped down. What a turn. S Triple C will stay alive for now, but the negative earn charge should take him down. We shall see if that's going to be the case. He's going to drop maybe. Can he get to the shrine? He drops right underneath the Tier 3 tower. He should have the hook shot as well. Coming in, vacuum wall combination. They need the cast. He's going to go into MSS and he'll keep him locked down. Meanwhile, BKB's pop. They really want this enchantress. And they will find it. Golem dropped down, but the blink is out in time. Bye bye coming in from the enchantress. Now KP getting turned on. Forced away the bash, the whirling axes, the ranged axes. The voodoo restoration is not enough on the backside of the fight. Yule Sip are coming in. SCC and Mugi are kind of separated. They're trying to man fight this right now. They need help. Vendetta impale grabs the kill. Now they find the impale again onto AUI 2000. They want more damage coming in SEC Shadow Strike going through Envy doing some work. He's got the Mask Madness pop. Here comes the Ancient Thunderhide. Trying to chase after AUI 2000. The open wounds. The huge come in coming from SEC. Throws up that Arc of Malevolence. Gets the kill. Nicely done. And then get ahead into the Roche Pin trying to finish this off. Going right in. They want to finish. Here comes KP. Looking for the vacuum. Cog pushes there. The BKB. They want to finish this. The bash is up though on Envy. And KP, he might fall. But will he get this Roshan? He's trying to finish it. Envy's BKB is done. Fata's back in. He's orchid it up. Hook shot to come through. That'll stop Mugi. They use the upheaval. Pilot Eye in some trouble. Sonic Wave onto two. Pilot Eye will fall. The Impale. Remnant forward. Fata trying to man fight here. Mugi's still at half HP. Now AUI 2000 on the back lines. Getting caught. More damage from SCC. Running low on mana and the shrine to come through. They're diving up the high ground. MSS gets faith and they will get Kaka as well. The Orchid is there. They need the kill. The Untouchable doing some serious work. They get Roche. They get the Aegis on the back lines and the cheese why were you chasing newbie that's not the play now they'll find the yule center not much mana left for sec they burn all the rest of it he cannot blink out now the infest out coming through moogie's gonna try to man fight at least fata but he's running and sec is gonna fall moogie is now the sole survivor he's gonna go for the tp will he be successful the battle trips oh the bashes are there <laughs> i cannot believe it x top so yeah. this is gonna be tough to defend with an Aegis and BKB for Envy. And Vacuum back, doing some serious work. Cast coming through, good force away from that Impale. If that Impale hits, then that Aegis is probably gone. Still might be. The Orchid comes out, and uh, he really wants this range racks, and he's going to waste his Aegis for it. I shouldn't say waste. He gets the actual building down, which is pretty huge. And I don't think Fata is going to... Well, maybe he will get BKB by the time the fight breaks out. We'll see. But he's got cheese anyway. Uh, bait. This bait. They're jumping in. Sonic Wave coming in. Can they bring him down the force oh, away? They need a couple auto attacks. The cheese is there. And now Kaka will fall. They get the bash up on S Triple C. He gets Golem down as well. Can he blink out in time? Cog push somehow makes it away. But now the Remnant will finish him off. A double kill for Fata. And he's trying to fight this BKB. Will go. The hook shot is there as well. They found Moogie. He's in trouble. Disarmed. For the time being, they cannot find the racks. Vacuum back into the wall. Time to leave, and Pale will miss completely. They're going to look for MSS. And they will find him. They had the uh, Orchid Malevolence on him. They will get one more kill at the very least. Can they find Fata? They certainly cannot. He TP's away. The Impale not in time. On cooldown for another two seconds. AUI 2000 might go down. Shadow Strike. There's going to be the Orchid coming through. Yes, S Triple C did have to buy back, but he does get a double kill at the very least off. He just walks up, and Pale misses again from Kaka. They will get off the cask, and he's still just going to go to work on the racks. Jump in, Kaka will find Fata. They will break the Lincoln Spear. Wall drop down on the back end. They go for a play, but now the cogs come out from MSS. They drop the Golem. They do blink away, but the Disarm was there for S Triple C. They've already had to buy back on KP. Now Envy kiting everybody, including Moogie, who now has to back up. 40 seconds for Faith on the back lines. Good back wall. And Pale to follow up as well. On to one. Jumping in as Triple C still has the Sonic Wave. The Shrine will come through. Can they take KP down for a second time? The Sonic Wave will come in. But again, the Aegis and Satanic both up. They're going to come in. They're going to try to fight this. They'll get AUI 2000 as well as Pilot Dai. Fata forced to cheese. Can they bring Envy down? The Impale comes through. He's low. They cannot quite get him though. Now backing away. It's just, just still just the Aegis though. If they can bring him down. But it's not quite there. He's able to get out. Plenty of Maelstrom procs, uh, procs flying through. So, Bane Spike Carapace coming out. 
They really want this melee rack to stay alive. The constant pressure from MP might turn this into a building finally. Open wounds coming in. The Impale hooks at the fall from MSS. There's the wall dropped down as well. They need this kill onto Envy and they will drop him. It's just one though. Now can they get MSS? Sonic Wave comes out. Beautifully done. Remnant away from Fada. He can't stay to fight. And now Envy has to pop the BKB and run. It is a five second BKB duration. He needs to get out. Here comes Kaka. He needs to find this Impale. The rolling axe is a spike. Carapace coming through. Where's the Impale? Why didn't he get stunned? Envy now turning up. Pilot Eyes nearby as well. Shadow Strike coming through. They're going to blow up one potentially AUI getting chased down. MV stunned up now, getting caught. Maledict is up, and here comes Moogie trying to man fight the Shiva's guard. He needs to hit it, and he will. And MV is gonna get dropped down. Newbie turn it around. They hold the building yet again. Up down onto Kaka. That's not great. Shiva's guard in the back line. They are looking for Pilai Die. He is glimmer caped. And he will make it out. Now Envy heading inside the Rose Pit. Pilai Dai going to get dropped. Mugi will get the kill. On the other side of the fight, Faith, well, he's dead. But again, not that big of a deal. Sonic Wave coming out. They grab MSS. Now the BKB going for Envy. He's got to run. The Golem is down. S-Triple-C chasing him down. Blink 4. Vacuum misses. He's so fast. Kaka cannot find him. Faith will buy back. They need to take this Roshan. No fatal bonds, Draskal. Okay. Triple-C is keeping into the mid lane. Oh, hello, AUI2000. Yes, I would like to kill you. No, apparently not. They're going bottom instead. Oh, God. Envy Impale. They can bring him down here. The hook shot coming through. They get forced away. Now he pops the BKB. He needs the Satanic, and he's doing some work. Golem drop down. MSS now turning on. Getting forced Moogie. Absolutely right-clicking him down. Trying to get this kill. The Remnant coming through. And they will get MSS, but they've lost two. Both supports dead yet again. The upheaval is owning. The Yule Scepter Lincoln Sphere is broken. Now remnant it away. Trying to find S Triple C and they will get the kill. All of a sudden turning it around. Mugi is here alone. Trying to man fight this. There's the Shadow Word. MV now getting chased down. But instead, it's AUI 2000 on the back lines. They want Fada. They can't get it. The cheese goes. Mugi still trying to man fight. It's not going to work. The vacuum oh, onto the high ground. But the remnant to the low ground. That's just Aegis. And now S Triple C as well as the Life Stealer. The only two alive. AUI 2000 is still up there. Got Hurricane Pike. He can get down in some uh, period of time. Now the Orca coming through. They need Envy another Glimmer Cape. And now Envy thinking about going back in. Newbie in some trouble. They've got to back away. And they actually see Envy. Impale is going to hit. Can they find this? They need the cast to fly up as well. And it will bounce. SCC is going to come through. They don't have BKB. Here's the Orchid. The Yule Sip going to come in. They're going to come through. Hookshot misses from MSS. But the Force away. Now they're looking for the back wall. They'll find it. Can they get the Impale off as well? He will. And now they're going to come in screaming pain. Shiva's guard, Sonic Wave. They blow everybody away. MSS is dead for 80. They do have buyback available for Envy. Glimmer just do so much. Here we go. Pata, Shiva's guard, running away, trying to man fight. Here we go. The golem dropped down as well. Wall is there. Hoogie trying to man fight. Open wounds. Envy getting chewed down. The impetus. Sonic Wave. Impale. Is this going to be a dieback? He's so low. They need to bring him down. He's not dead yet. One more auto attack, and he will finally drop. Pilot die in the back lines. S Triple C going to work. He is in some trouble. A couple more auto attacks will do the job. And now the second golem dropped down, of course, on the death. He will buy back for Fata as he also goes down. Now the top lane getting pushed in. As you can see, the wave being pinged out. BKB pop from Envy needs to be careful. Oh, they're trying to lock down Moogie, but he's so tanky. Hook shot. Actually hits under three. Cogs will find Kaka. Remnant in. They're doing some good work. They dropped the golem as well. Looking on the back lines, trying to find Envy. Man fight, there's the Abyssal. The Glimmer Cape again from Pilot Eye once more. Nobody dead yet on the side of Newbie. Now Moogie trying to leave. He does not have his cheese. He's already used it. SCCC throwing up the Sonic Wave. Here we go. The Cog push from MSS keeping it in. S Triple C trying to man fight. Now trying to blink as well. Root, the Hex, can they bring him down? That's just the Aegis. And now they'll find MSS, but he is the one with buyback. He's got it. He'll use it. Nobody dead yet other than him. Everybody else backing up all of these abilities being used and only one hero dead. You've got to be kidding. No, they're going in. They they have buyback on everybody except for the next assassin. They're going to try to do this. Envy's still going to work. Not much mana left. The bash will come through and they get the vacuum back. Now in trouble is Fata and MSS. Can they bring him down? Envy is dead and now it's up to Fata as MSS will also fall. Golem dropped on death of Pile I Die. As Triple C taking some impetus hits from AUI 2000, but he's out of mana. They're pushed back into the well. The Searing Chains will come through, but the racks should be finished off. Remnant Fata trying to man fight. As Triple C might be in trouble. Blinks away. The wall dropped down. Can they kill Fata? He's getting low, but now the heck's up. That'll be into Kaka. He's low. Impale does hit. They need this kill. The Cogs. 
excuse me, the cast coming in along with the Shiva's guard. Fata will drop dead for 123. That should be it. Newbie, they will be your Zotac Cup Masters champions. Very well deserved from Newbie as well. I mean, you you can't really take anything away from MP. I think they played considering again. It's a pretty new team, right? So this is their first land, correct? 